Oh. Wait, wait, yeah. So tell me, how do you plant these cover crops without turning the soil? <laughs> this soil was turned. Okay. <laughs> so this is a, this is a dry farm planting. We we cultivate all of our dry farm plantings. Uh, um, this will get probably one to two passes with a spader. It's an implement uh, that will drive all this biomass underground. But we don't need to cultivate going into the, the, the fall or when we're the planting season. So we just use a direct seeder right over the ground. Uh, and the planting behind you, this was all planted with um, a no-till seed drill. So it's an implement, it's a lot heavier, it has coulters in front uh, that create small furrows for the seed to go in, the seed drops in the hole, and then there's another, or another section of that implement that will then kind of close those furrows back up. We saw an amazing take with the rows that we left um, that were crimped this year. I mean, it was definitely testament to to the no-till drill in that specific setting. With this stuff here, you know, for us, it's just trying to beat the rain. We got really lucky. We, we had three days after harvest till our first rainstorm to get everything cover cropped. Uh, I don't think there was a, a, a prouder moment I've had in my career at Talbos Creek than those three days in the amount of work that we got done. We had the whole vineyard, everything that we were gonna cover crop, we got cover cropped, all of our dry farm stuff. Um, but you know, in, in dry farming, it's really important. You do disturb the soil, you do, you do, there is some heavy tillage that occurs. So we need to replace the fertility that was lost in that growing season and, and cover crops are a way for us to do that. It also holds the soil in place. So those first rains, as seeds start ger germinating, and then any, any other torrential storm that we get through the property at that point, we're not worried about soil being washed down the hill. So when you're dry farming or you're clean cultivating, it's kind of a no-brainer to put seed in behind it because you're not having to prep a seed bed. You're not having to run a disc and break up soil and then follow it back up with another tractor pass. Your soil is already loose. It's already got enough uh, porosity for those seeds to get into. It's kind of a no-brainer in the winter time. One, one thing you said to me earlier that really struck me was that you don't have a one-size-fits-all even for this single estate. No. So you have you have hills behind us here that are dry farmed. Yes. That you uh, that are clay based and because of if once they start drying out they get clumpy and and all that water will come up and, and just be evaporated. Yeah. So there you will you will um, disc that a bit to break it up and, and sort of keep the soil in. Whereas in other phases, you don't touch, you don't touch yeah, the soil. Yeah, yeah, there, I mean, it. the way we manage the ground on this property changes from block to block. Everything is done, everything is done differently here. I can show you a really cool, this is a great example down here where we're trying to uh, poke a hole in the theory of, of dry farming and needing to disc. Um, Show me. Let's go.